Today we are going to be testing out the power of photo to video AI. And we're going to test out what this little website slash program can do called Runway. I'm not sponsored at all, but I think it's a really cool thing that you can turn photo to video and you can also turn text to video and a little bit of other features that they have in the app. Okay, so we're in Runway. And with Runway, there's a few things in it. You have this little dashboard where you can generate videos, edit audio and subtitles, edit videos, edit images, generate images, 3D AI training. And I think the AI training is really cool. You can make custom AI models where it's photo to video, where you can essentially make your own AI model based off your face or anything else you want to do. That, sadly, you have to pay money, but for the free version, you get quite a bit of like what they call credits to test out this. So there's text to video right here, but what we want is image to video. Let's find one of my images. These are some of the images they've created. Okay, this is the first image I want to test with, and let's see how this turns out. While we're waiting for the photo to video to generate, click this card annotation to take you to what I think about some of the AI features and I don't think it's all bad but we definitely have to adapt with the times. If you're interested click this card annotation. Okay let's see what the result is. Mm, it's all right. The thing that I don't like is that I want it to move the water and it's moving up which is cool but I want it to move the water. Let's see if we can edit it. Let's try generating a different photo, but this time I'll add more of a text prompt to make sure it does what I want it to, or hopefully it will. Also, this is relatively new technology, so it's not perfect. Uh, it's not going to have the best results in the world, but the more specific you can be, which I sometimes forget, the better the results, at least with AI text to prompt uh, websites from my experience with them for text to prompt art generators, text to prompt photo generators, text to prompt video generators, anything that has to do with AI where it's a text prompt, it, it's better to specify and have certain tag uh, characteristics for it. Let's see if specifying what I want more helped the program make what I wanted to make. So far, it looks like my image, so that's a good sign. Let's see if it's not moving the background and the sky and only moving the photo. It looks a little blurry here, but the photo wasn't the best in the first place. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so this is definitely moving a little bit. But not bad. The water is flowing. The mountainous terrain is flowing, a moving a little bit. But it's just the trees, which makes sense. And the sky is moving at all. So this is definitely what I was looking for. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that my image is quite a bit different than the original design has the same feel and similar elements with the moss and the rock and even these trees but it's different it looks more on the lower part of it like if you were on one of the rocks looking at it which is cool but that's not exactly what i'm looking at so let's look at least at what the results are oh that's I gotta say though, that's that's pretty epic. That that is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Is it exactly as what my image is? No. Is it very cool? Yes. Now I'm interested. If I generate this one more time, I want to see what a different result will look like giving the same text prompt. So again, different than what it looks like, but it does look like this is the start where it starts going down below. So it 
has some stuff relating to it and it definitely still definitely feels like the photo so let's see it still has those splashes i can't get over the splashes it looks really cool it definitely has that waterfall feel and i have to say i really like and surprised how it turns out it's not exactly what i expected but i like it so now we're going to try to do a portrait of my girlfriend so i have this portrait of my girlfriend in the generator and i'm thinking of having her instead of it being an ocean that she's running from having it be that she's running from a volcano an active volcano with lava coming after her so i don't know how this will turn out i've never tried something like this exactly like this before so it will either turn out horribly wrong or beautifully right so this is the almost horrible prompt that i came up with an insane looking 4k video of a brunette haired girl with a green coat on and black leggings running from a volcano spewing lava lava flows toward her as she runs molten rocks near her as she is running the ground is black cracked rock underneath her feet you ready to see the results and see if it was able to make this portrait of my girlfriend running into a volcano spewing lava towards her or if it's just absolutely horrible i'm i'm really interested too i don't know what it's gonna look like oh god this is not great this is horribly horribly not good this has nothing to do with lava uh she's kind of running uh oh goodness they, they made my girlfriend into an abomination second time's a charm i have a feeling this is still gonna turn out horribly horribly wrong this is horribly bad let's try this uh there's no running her face is changing there's barely lava moving this is bad so i have this abomination next to it but i have the city photo a city skyscraper and i want to have the sky change colors so the sky and clouds move and change colors but the sky the the city landscape stays still sometimes it really alters the cityscape but the building stayed similar ish i don't even know if this feels like portland yeah that shot was taken in portland oregon if you guys didn't know but the photo or the not photo the video looks interesting it changes time of day at least like it's a very cool photo or a, not photo it's a very cool video i want to say photo for some reason it's a very cool video but it's not exactly what i was expecting also this is not anywhere near my photo so i generated it again with a different photo and this is closer to the uh, skyscraper and the prompt so that's good this one matches my photo perfectly but i watched this video and look what happens it was still the sky and clouds uh prompt the last prompt i'm gonna do of that and i'm gonna try to challenge it with something i don't know what but i'm gonna try to challenge it with an, some sort of text prompt but look what happens it collapses into a whole another building it actually looks kind of cool in a weird way but it doesn't really have the cloud element that i was looking for but it changes into a whole different building transforms in a pretty cool way so this is a prompt that i'm going to use to challenge it person painting colorful graffiti over this brick wall with the same lighting as the photo okay let's see how this turned out so far it looks kind of weird with the can okay similar lighting but with a can interesting <laughs> okay 
You have to be real. We got some very interesting results today. Some good, some bad. I don't know if I'm completely excited with the results. I think it has room for growth. And I think it's definitely a work in progress. But if you are very specific and you know how to describe what you are trying to you what you want the program to do it can make it happen but sometimes it gets it wrong and it doesn't think like a human so you have to be very specific so that is different and i think that's the biggest thing that you have to keep in mind when you're trying this out for yourself you can try it out on the app store or the website runway ml.com i'll leave it down in the description i'm not sponsored just so you guys know and i hope you guys did enjoy this little experiment type video i don't do these very often so when i do it's very random and sporadic but i leave leave a like if you enjoyed make sure to comment down below what was your favorite photo video generation was and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace out bye